Hello everyone, I'm Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how the narcissist actually hates your physical beauty. Please give this video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. If you'd like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk. The narcissist hates your physical beauty. They hate your physical attractiveness. They hate your physical features. They hate that you may be aesthetically pleasing. They hate your sexual attractiveness and desirability. It elicits envy and resentment from the narcissist because it elicits admiration from everyone else. The narcissist is jealous of your physical beauty. They wish they looked as pleasing and attractive as you do, which is why when you're in a relationship with a narcissist, they will turn you into a shell of who you used to be. Before you got involved with them, you had your own likes and preferences. You had your own desires and needs. You had your own identity but they destroyed it because they wanted to turn you into a puppet. Narcissists are hardwired to manipulate and control like a puppet master because it's the only way they can get what they want. They also use it to protect their fragile ego because they're very insecure and to protect their false image because they lack the integrity to face the consequences of their actions which is why they feel the need to dominate and punish their victims because they're very selfish. They're primarily concerned with their own interests and benefits regardless of other people. They groom and condition you. They prepare and train you for the abuse. They turn you into a puppet by judging and criticizing you in a way that is very cruel and unpleasant because they're very envious and jealous of you. So they want you to feel their pain. They want you to feel the absence of your qualities and characteristics, just as they feel the absence of what you have in themselves. They want you to feel how they feel. They want you to give up on yourself. Because they gave up on themselves a long time ago. That's why they have a false self. That's why they're now a manipulator and an abuser. Because being good, honest, kind and genuine never got them the result that they wanted. They were made to feel like they're not good enough. So then they decided to take a different path of establishing power, authority and control over people. When what they were really seeking all along was love and acceptance. They believe they're not deserving of love and they also cannot receive it because they have a false self that is in pursuit of power. They hate their true self. So they hate your true self because they believe their true self was not good enough to garner the admiration and respect that they desired and craved. Which is why when you start to find yourself again, you experience a lot of trouble, annoyance, irritation and harassment. Narcissists are extremely insecure. They are shame based people who are doing everything they can to avoid reflecting on their shame. Which is why they will do everything they can to destroy your sense of self. Because your sense of a self resurfaces their shame, which they are trying to deny and suppress. Your sense of self causes them to feel humiliation and distress. It makes them feel like what they're doing is dishonorable, immoral and improper. Which is why they want to deflect that shame onto you by criticizing and ridiculing how you look and dress until you stop taking care of yourself. Because they have to believe they're better than you. Which is why they orchestrate. They plan and coordinate the elements of the situation to produce their desired effect. They organise complicated things in a very careful and secret way. In order to gain an advantage for themselves. Because then it makes their delusion become their reality. It makes their false opinions, ideas and beliefs about you become true. At least from their point of view. 
which is why they constantly express their judgments and opinions about you. They say mean things about how you look and how you interact with other people until you begin to feel useless and worthless, as though you're not pleasing or appealing to look at, or that you're lacking good or positive features that would otherwise make someone admire you and want to compliment you. So then you start giving up. You abandon hope for yourself. You renounce certain activities or beliefs because you're constantly being pressured and put down. So it is the path of least resistance. You develop a lack of confidence in yourself, a fear of the future, a lack of discipline, and you may begin to expect fast results. But you don't have enough belief in yourself. You may assume that your problems are unique. You dwell on mistakes. You may fear failure more than you desire success. You may feel that there is an insufficient reward. You may stop believing in yourself. You may fear taking risks because you believe in your weakness. You may change your priorities. You may experience a lot of distractions until you finally give up your power and begin to live in your comfort zone to where you never visualize what is possible because you are stuck in the past and you have gotten bored of the repetitiveness. But you feel like you are committing a crime by taking care of yourself. Because they have blamed and shamed you for doing that. Any time that you tried to bet yourself, they made you feel like you're a master manipulator, as though you're being attention seeking. Because you just want all of the attention for yourself. When in fact, they are just projecting. Because that's what they want. And they feel like you are taking the spotlight away from them which is not your intention. You just want to be yourself. You want to take care of yourself. And that is your right. Because it is a legal, social and ethical principle of freedom and entitlement. And yet it seems that even prisoners have more basic rights and freedoms than you do. But they have the nerve to convince you that you are doing something wrong. They are brainwashing you. Until you start to believe that maybe you are doing something wrong. Maybe you are trying to get attention. Because they're constantly telling you the same thing and again and again. Which is known as the illusory truth effect. Where the repetition of a statement increases a person's belief in the referential validity or truth of that statement. But just because they're saying it, that doesn't mean that it's true. It just means that they have programmed you to the point where it has hit your subconscious until you start feeling that way about yourself. You start hating yourself and you feel shame for something you haven't done until you start minimizing yourself. You represent yourself as less than your true value and importance. You downplay your significance. You reduce the expression of your personality, emotions and ideas. You start hating everything that you once used to like. You feel suffocated. You feel very uncomfortable to the point where it is difficult to breathe because you are not free. You're not able to act or do as you wish. You're not able to be yourself because you're limited and controlled by another person, which then affects your understanding of who you are because you no longer have the power or ability to decide what looks good on you or what your choices or preferences are. It all gets destroyed. And all that is left is the narcissist's false version of who they want you to be. So you become that. You try to avoid or minimize distress and danger by pleasing and appeasing your abuser. You do whatever you can to keep the abuser happy, despite your own wants and needs. You abandon yourself to serve them, to avoid conflict, criticism or disapproval. Because you feel helpless, you cannot fight, flight or freeze. So the only other thing you can do is what they want you to do. You have to go along with the abuser, the person who is deliberately harming you, in order for you to protect yourself from further harm. So you begin to develop the strong urge to please them, even at your own expense. And you may even begin to consider them as being helpful and kind. Because you want to remain safe and unharmed. 
So you learn to give up on your choices and preferences. You learn to give up on your perceptions because that is what they wanted you to do. They wanted you to become a reflection of their delusion, which is how you should know that they never knew the real you because they interacted with a false projected version of who they wanted you to be, to serve their false ego, to make them feel better about themselves. They interacted only with your emotional blind spots and weaknesses, the parts that your ego did not want to acknowledge and not your true self. Because in order for you to coexist with someone so wicked and cruel, you had to hide who you really are. You had to adjust your personality in order to survive. And that is why it's so painful to find yourself again, because you concealed yourself for such a long time. And it's so hard to try to build yourself again because you feel shame in doing that, even though they're not physically there. You hear this voice in your head every time you try to better yourself. You begin to feel sudden and uncontrollable fear or anxiety because you remember what happened the last time you tried to go within and be yourself. And you feel so much sadness and distress from all of the time that you've lost, from when you couldn't be yourself for such a long time. Which is why you need to have empathy for yourself. You need to be consciously aware of how you are thinking and feeling from moment to moment. And you need to take your time and get to know yourself Because when you are rebuilding yourself after narcissistic abuse, it's like being brought back to life. To where you then start to exist and become active again, after years of not being in use or in effect. Because you have to release yourself from the brainwashing and from the systematic indoctrination of their unconventional values. You have to release all of the projections projections and all of the negative things they made you believe about yourself the way that they defined your personality because they were projecting how they felt about themselves, the things that they didn't want to accept, which is why you have to tell yourself that it's unfamiliar to you. It's disturbing and distasteful. It's not yours because they were never able to see the real you, which is how you were actually the exact opposite of everything that they made you out to be. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate to paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.